What's going on guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash and another episode of Building with Lemons because this is a freaking nice series. Okay, let's. I'll explain what I'm doing here. As you can see, we've got some gameplay right here. It's I'm, You might have seen by the title, I'm building an extreme demon. Like, I'm not building the full thing, I'm just building my part in a mega collab that I'm planning to host soon. So I've already done this part, it looked, I think it turned out pretty nice and I'm going to decorate. Be, I'm gonna be decorating this ship part. And in the interest of time, I've like I've already done the pulses and the gameplay outline. I'm just going to do all the design now. I'm going to make it look pretty nice and I've got a couple ideas in my head for this episode. So yeah, let's get into it. First, first thing I see that triggers me straight away is these spikes. I want them... I don't really like spikes with the, that have a massive solid color like these ones. God damn it. Here we go. If I just change all their colors. I'll show you what I like doing. I'll do them later. I'll show you what I like doing with spikes. Like, you may have noticed in my levels that I always do this. I'm not going to bother selecting these, they take way too long. I'll do them later. I like having a, a very, like, opaque inside of them. See how that, just, that already just looks so much nicer? So, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make something look nice. We'll, we'll get them 10. We'll get them. We'll get them nice and white because they usually look nicer in white. And of course, I always layer my, like as you can see, I always layer my spikes on a different layer to the blocks because if I want to add moving objects later, it makes it so much easier. Always use la layering. If you haven't, if you haven't been using layering, you got to train yourself into it because it is super useful. I used to not use it in 1.9, and it just makes building so much easier. I think we might add a big glow for this thing here. I'm gonna to have to change the color of the the color channels as well. I've only changed the background here. Uh, what would we do without glow? Like seriously, it is the best, like the best feature. Make everything look so much nicer. So I think I fixed the microphone quality for this video. I hope I have. I hope that it's, I hope that it sounds okay because last time the game volume when I recorded the let's play video, the game volume was a little too low, and that was quite irritating. I'm gonna try and not let that happen again. So hopefully, hopefully it's all good now. I think I've made the quality of even better as well. It's like a freaking eighty dollar mic, so it should be good. But if I haven't mentioned already, if you haven't seen it in the first part, this is going to be inspired by Codex this level, because I got I look like watch I played one of these older levels recently, and it just it just really inspired me for some reason. It just looked like it was so perfect, and I'm trying to build like him a bit more now. Like, because if you like, you might not already know, but I'm. Block design is a very weak point for me. I never really paid too much attention to block design. I'm gonna try and make some amazing looking block design in this part here. Hopefully it won't take too long. So yeah, what, let's talk about something. What's been happening recently? Well, I'm just on holidays now actually. I've got three weeks of holidays and then I've got six weeks of exams and that's gonna be great. But <laughs> Let's get my final exams until I'm done forever. But anyway, three weeks of holidays to do what I want, as long as study, of course, but I'm going to be focusing a lot on YouTube, and I'm going to be going away for a week. I'll be out of area. <laughs> what, do I, how do I, what do I say? I'll be, I'll be away for a week with no internet, so that's going to be fun. So if I'm not going to, I'm not going to be uploading videos for a week or making videos either, so if you're wondering where I am, that's where I've gone. <laughs> I think most of my viewers are from America or other places in the northern hemisphere. But yeah, we have winter when you have summer. So it's getting warmer for us and colder for you. Anyway, what does this look like? Does this look any good? So we've got a lot of white. I'm going to change the color of the glow and like everything really. That would be color one. Color three. And yeah, that's it. That's that's that part done. I think I'm gonna do the 3D blocks. So I'm, I'm gonna place in 3D blocks and all that boring, all that boring stuff that you guys don't want to watch. So I'm gonna fast forward to when I finish the 3D blocks. Okay, I'm just gonna snap my fingers and it's gonna be done. Okay, we're done. We just freaking got all that. We just got all that freaking 3D blocks done through the power of television. Oh wait, no, this isn't television. Whatever. It sounds better saying it like that. But. Let's move on to block design now. We're gonna go with. Um, I wanted to use one of these blocks up here because they're not. They don't get used very much anymore. Why don't we go with a white base and. Hmm, I might make. I might make a new color for this one. For the detail. 
Does it want it to be darker? Okay, that looks good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretty much guarantee I'm gonna forget what I just did. It was, was it ten and fourteen? Okay, nice. Okay, I'll try and remember that for the rest of the box. <coughs> oh, I kept needing to clear my throat. Okay, so I recently hit seventeen thousand subscribers on YouTube, and that that's pretty great. Like these one thousand milestones. Like I'm not really gonna do much celebration for them because I've kind of moved on from that. But it's really amazing, guys. Like the amount. How fast the sub growth is going at the moment is just—it's just incredible right now. Really, I never—I never thought that it would be this fast. So yeah, thanks, thanks so much for for that, you guys. Hopefully, I can get 20k someday. If I get 20k, I've got like a huge special plan. It should be pretty awesome. We're doing this kind of the lazy way, actually, but it's not like it's inefficient. So it's it's pretty bland at the moment. There's not much not much going on with this block design, but it is pretty early stages of it I do like have I have like a detailed plan in my head that I've, I've just thought of that I'm gonna do for this part it's gonna be pretty cool if it works sometimes my execution of these things is not that great and I just like completely stuff it up that was like kinda like my the doom gauntlet video that I made was kinda crap but I ditched that level anyway that's which is why I'm now doing which is why I made bullets instead but I think that one turned out really nicely so yeah I hope I'm not too boring in these videos because I do run out of things to say it is a lot of talking for like 15 minutes but I, I do en I enjoy recording them I like I find it pretty fun to record videos like this because it's just me doing stuff that I like doing really it's not nothing else I'm not like trying to I'm not trying too hard or anything I'm just doing it because it's fun and I assume you guys like watching it they get a lot of views on YouTube like and people are like, oh, it's such a good idea, but like it's just, it's just me building. Like I don't really see it as like an amazing idea. Okay, we got those down now. Okay, time to add some glow to these things to make them look a little more interesting. I'm gonna add a layer of glow at the top. Hmm, <coughs> that already looks so much nicer. I'm wondering how I'm gonna do the slope glow because that may not look amazing. Slope glow is never fun trying to figure it out, but I'll, I'll work out something. Hang on, wait, isn't that... I never even noticed those, they're like blocks specifically for slopes, but I've like never really used them. I just, it just caught my eye there. I'll give it a go once I've done these ones. I don't know why I've never used slope glow before, I've always done it like some really complex way. I'll just fill that in there. Okay, let's, let's see how this works out. Got to align it. See, it's not really going to look that great. See, like, see that? See, I've always done it like this. You get two of those and then... This is not going to work, but whatever. That was dumb. Hmm. Maybe. Will that, will that do? <laughs> whatever that will do for the video purposes, that will do. I may, I would try, like, normally I'd probably try to polish that a little more, but I don't want to like, I don't want to be boring, I don't want to be wasting time, I will like, what I do with these videos is when I'm, when I finish, I build like most of the stuff, but when I'm done, I like kind of, I, how do I say it, I kind of make it even better, I just add little things that take, that take the time up, okay, also what I'm going to do here, for this little, these blocks that are a bit empty, haven't got anything in them, I'm going to add some kind of corner block things. I'm looking for what I need. Here it is. I'm going to add some of these and I'm going to make them actually white. But they pulse black. I think, I'll, I think that, looks, they, that looks good when that happens. I always think the white pulsing black looks nice. I don't know why, it's just something I like. There we go, we've done one stage of block design. Now we're going to fill in with the, we're going to fill in with the base block. I usually start with the base, but I, this time I didn't for some reason. Just a low opacity standard block here. I want, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while <coughs> in previous episodes of building is the use of shortcuts while building because I see like a lot of people in live streams just not utilizing enough shortcuts. Right now, if you haven't noticed, I'm using the sh hold shift to, to swipe shortcut. It's an extremely useful one, probably my favorite. And there's, there's also the control D to copy paste, which I've always used. I haven't pressed that button up there in years. So yeah, make sure you learn some of the shortcuts. Like I think you can find them, 
you can actually find them here, which a lot of people don't know. So you can go through all this, there's like a shit ton of shortcuts you can learn there. So go and check that out sometime and try and train yourself into using them like I have. And the AWISD to move the blocks around. Those are my three main shortcuts that I use. So if, you are, if you're not using them, you're really missing out because they're just amazing, they're really, like you should be using them. Save me heaps of time and it's how I can build really. Okay, that should be that. That should be the base block done. I'm gonna add one of the coolest things you can do to blocks here with the black glow on the bottom. Really defines it, make it makes it look so much nicer. Mmm. Oh that looks freaking tasty. Jesus Christ. Oh. And another another issue I'm gonna address right now is the sound of my mouse, like how it's if you think it's too loud, put it in the comments because I honestly think it's way too loud while recording. And Honestly, there's nothing I can do about it apart from getting a different mouse, and I've had this mouse for four years now. So, like, I'm really attached to it. <laughs> so that's probably not an option unless it breaks, but I hope you don't mind the loud mouse noise. It's a bit irritating, I will admit. Okay, I've had an idea. I've had a genius idea to put inside these blocks. After about, maybe like two minutes of thinking or something, I'm back with, with a smart idea. It's probably not going to look that great, but we can always hope it looks good. I feel like I've said that line before. I probably have. I still got to do saw blades and air deco after this as well. I won't do a custom background for this video. And I might do moving objects too. Uh, it's it's going to be annoying. Maybe I'll do it off camera. Because I'm, I'm trying to train myself into using more moving objects because like you do like when you see a level compared to like one without moving objects compared to one with, you can just see how much better it is. You can just, if, and when they're used correctly, you can just see how amazing it makes the level. <coughs> okay, people, people might get mad with, about corner pieces, but I'm not gonna do them at the moment. I'm gonna do them after. So, you can live with that. I suppose, I'll do corner pieces later, don't worry. I'm, I will not forget them. If you're, if you're out of ideas for what blocks to use, kind of obvious, but just go look in Go look in this section here. Just go look in all through the blocks carefully on each page. What is that? I have never seen that used before. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, we'll stick with that and roll with this one. All I can do is just hope it looks nice on the, on the final result. I might add like a gradient as well to this level because gradients make everything look really nice and glowy. Okay, I'll also add a bit of other glow like Fancy glow, colorful glow. I sound like an idiot. <laughs> okay, the majority of the block design is done. It needs more, like it needs a few little more details. But I'll, I'll cut that part out because it's gonna take a while. Don't want the video to be too long. So I'll be right back. Okay, the block design is done. We've added a bunch of little copy pasted decorations around to make it look nice and they pulse black as you can see. So I hope it looks good. I hope it looks good in the playtest. But now we're going to move on to saw blades, and I'm going to make a custom one. I'm going to make a nice looking. Well, actually, I might just copy paste and then change it a little bit. Believe me, I'm lazy, but I can still make stuff look nice. We're going to give it a bit more glow because it's a bit lacking in glow. Got to snap that to the grid so I can place that in the position. It's looking like it doesn't have enough glow at the moment. That looks that looks okay, right? Uh, we'll do the same for this one, and we're gonna add we're gonna add like a little bit extra, a little bit more to this saw blade. What could be good here? Let's just go for a look around here. Maybe one of these things with the object color. Oh, I like that. Oh, that looks good. I like that a lot. Hell yeah, that looks good. Um, we're just gonna add them to the same layer so I don't don't have problems down the road always come prepared and let's place them around the level now god damn it they're just too big to go in there but not too big to go in there so back here where they couldn't fit I'm gonna do a bit of scaling and just do that because the, the other ones are too small and these ones are too these ones are too big see now to add these ones I always do big and then little just because the big is kind of like the foundation one could have one there to make the level more annoying, but no, nah, no, nah, I won't. Got to leave space for other decoration.
and as a finishing thing I might just I might make like a miniature one of them now to move on to my favorite feature of any level and you know what it is don't you well, you probably don't actually but it's an arrow I love arrows they're just so beautiful freaking hell they look so nice why don't we try to make this a unique arrow let's try to use something that's not typically used in arrows make it the, the black thing yeah whatever just being experimental here. Make that a bit bigger. And of course some glow. Gotta love that glow. I also make, might make this a bit a bit darker. So for the final thing we're just gonna go with this and go through. <coughs> gotta keep clearing my throat all the time. Okay, okay that's arrows. We got a good we got a good looking arrow which I can just copy paste around. <clears throat> I feel like I'm getting a cold because I have to keep clearing my throat. Turns out these were a little too big for like pretty much everywhere but that's fine we, we just narrow it down a bit. Okay for the, for the final thing we're gonna do for this part is let me just actually save first. Because that was a lot of work <laughs> like that was like 20 minutes of building that could have just been lost if the game crashed. Final bit of decoration here. I'm, I have an idea. I'm gonna get that one and a bit of glow. Maybe a bit less. And then we're gonna just move it around in the path where the ship would go. And for these little things here, these really narrow passages, We'll just get some of these. Make them the object color and give them a little thing. And make it a little smaller. We're done. Well, it could use more deco, of course, but I'm going to do that off camera. And now we're just going to give it a little play to see what it actually looks like. I mean, this is very hard. I'm not, not looking like. This is very hard, so I'm just, I'll just do it in practice mode for you guys. Because I don't think I'll be able to one attempt it. Jesus, that's hard. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is so tight. You're going to have to practice this a lot. I do plan on verifying it as well. So. So I'm going to have to do a lot of practice. Oh, here we got the straight flight. Why is there a portal there? What the hell? <laughs> anyway, I'm crap. Aside from the difficulty, I'm quite satisfied with the result actually. I think that turned out pretty nicely. I hope you guys agree and yeah that's it for this video. That's it for another building episode. I think that was my longest one yet even though I wasn't planning it to be. So yeah thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. As always have a nice day. Laters.